come to Zellin Pole, Pennsylvania, or Zellian Pole, or Zell N Pole, or Zellian Pole, or Zeeland Pole, or I'm coming to Pennsylvania. Dear Dad, I, I sent you a link for the pronunciation, how to say that town. Go click on it. It's in your texts. Okay. Celia Noble. <laughs> Celia Noble. Oh, wow, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That was a clip from the last time that Mandy Patinkin was on his way to Pittsburgh. And you know what? In his defense, Celia Noble is a difficult name to say. But we got a kick out of that. You know what? I'm, I'm looking at that, and I'm not from here. I can understand. Oh yeah, no. Every single thing you came up with was totally was reasonable. Total, yeah. yeah, very reasonable. The Tony and Emmy Award winner is coming back for more for a one night only concert. Yeah, with iconic roles from Inigo Montoya in The Princess Bride to Jason Gideon on Criminal Minds. He's a TV, he's a film, he's a Broadway legend. He's joining us live right now. Wow. Mandy, thank you so much for joining us. And we wanna to talk to you about the show. We're very excited about the show that's coming to Pittsburgh. But first we learned you have a dog named Becky that's right which there. We love, <laughs> which we love. Yeah, right outside the window here and she's been barking uh, because the water people are here to try to fix my water uh, that has too much iron in it. So they're they're here. They may come in any minute and be part of this interview. So <laughs> Becky's uh, getting a little riled. I needed to tell him just pet her and and we're working on keeping her not jumping up. So down, Becky, down, Becky. Okay. <laughs> we didn't know that your dog's name was Becky. So I, all I heard was De Becky, leave it alone. And I thought, who's Becky? Oh no, what's happening there? <laughs> But now we know Mandy Patinkin has a regular life like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> <We love. laughs> tell us tell us about this show because we're so excited about it. And and it's truly you've picked many, many of your favorite songs for it, right? Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, when when the pandemic uh, hit, you know, I, uh, you know, like all of us, we went to sleep for God knows how long. And then I wanted to get back on the road. And I said to Adam Ben David, my piano player, I want to be happy. I want to make a happy concert i want it happy for me happy for the audience so let's make something that makes people really happy we we just went through like 13 14 hours worth of material and and uh and we made something that i really love and uh, we've done about 18 or 19 concerts already uh we've got about 50 more that we were uh you know got got in the queue and uh you know for this this round and um and i just love doing it and i'll go anywhere to do it because uh it makes me happy and i called it being alive because i said you know we need to feel alive again and uh and uh say so somebody said why don't you call it being alive i said okay that's a good idea well we love it and we can't wait for it it's coming up uh in may in the beginning of may and we wanted to talk to you too about all of your roles you've been in film you've been in broadway you've been in tv are these is, are these the water guys Come on over here, guys. Is, is this Jim and Sarah? Come here. I'm doing an interview on CBS Pittsburgh for a concert that I'm doing. Come and say hi. It's a live interview. This, this is Jim Stafford from uh, from American Pump. Come on here, sir. And and his daughter Sarah. Uh, Sarah, come in where they want to see you, Sarah. Come here. Come here. Get down. Get down there. And Sarah, she's like the water genius. And he's the water genius's father, and and they do everything, and so it's right under there under the sink. Thanks, man. So just ignore us, okay? So this is uh, this is far more interesting than me coming to do a concert. <laughs> well, we're glad they're there to help. That you have experts in the house, and it was nice to meet them, Mandy. That's cool. <laughs> right, I can I can break. Would you like to meet my, my dog? I'll go get my dog. One yeah. second. <laughs> For a little, for a bit, little bit, but you know, we'll, we'll talk with him about the upcoming show and, <laughs> and his stars and some of the other projects. <laughs> I promise when you come to see the concert, I'll stay on stage a little longer, but I'll run around if I got to go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> Priorities, <laughs> you know. This is brilliant, Mandy. I am loving every second of this. Good, good, good. We'll have a good time, I promise you. You know, I promise you we'll have a good time. And if you if you don't like what I'm doing, you can leave. You know, it's no big deal. <laughs> We love what you're doing, and we do want to ask you, like, so many people know you, different generations know you from TV, from Broadway, Chicago Hope, Criminal Minds, Homeland, uh, The Princess Bride. When people come up to you on the street, what do they talk to you about? What do they, what do they recognize you from, or does it depend on the person? 
They mainly want to know who takes care of my water, and then I try to introduce them to Jim and Sarah. That's their main concern. Wherever I go in the world, they go, who does your RO filter, and who makes sure there's not too much totally dissolved solids in your water? And then I get them over to uh, American Pump and Jim and Sarah. <laughs> They travel to Pittsburgh because they get a lot of work out of this interview. <laughs> commercial, commercial for them. For them. Really, really, you're doing yeah, great. Yeah, commercial for them, but uh, I'm sure the travel fee would really kind of break the bank. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite interviews ever, Mandy. You expect me to talk about the concert? Well, we can talk about it. It's fine. Yeah. I think this is this is wonderful. Oh, no, no, don't talk about it. Just just come there. You know, have a drink, sit down, shut up, and I'll sing to you, and then you can go home. I love, I love it. it. You know what? This was this was better than knowing the details of the concert because we know how much fun you are, well, we're and that makes me want to go even more. Come and when you come, please uh, come say hi afterwards. You know, I, I, I I'm lonely. <laughs> well, as long as you bring business cards for the water people, I'm in. Okay, I'll make sure we have business cards. Yeah. Thanks right. So much, Mandy. Yeah, Mandy. Give our best to Becky and the water people. And have a great day. We can't wait for you to come to Pittsburgh. Hey, so if you're not doing anything, I think you're. I think this is May fourth. It is May fourth. If you're not doing anything, I promise you, come on. Just even if you are doing some, cancel it. Come on over to the theater. I promise you, we'll have some fun. Then you can go home, or we can all go out together. Oh, I love oh, it. All right. Well, that's that's a date, Mandy Patinkin. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Okay, we want to give you the details. Pittsburgh CLO presents Mandy Patinkin's Being a Live concert at Point Park University's Pittsburgh Playhouse is Thursday, May 4th. You don't want to miss it. No, you don't. Cancel whatever you have planned that day. As Mandy said, we have the link for tickets on our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.